Welcome to another episode of Wheelchair RC. I am Tracker. I am your host. They call me the Human RC. Uh, you guys, today we're going to be talking about soldering, uh, uh, making wire, wire harnesses or splitters uh, for your uh, for whatever hobby you're into, if you're into that. Um, just, you know, I, my subscribers have asked me to um, show some of the difficulties I have um, only having really the one arm, and, you know, to do stuff and, and soldering uh, with one arm is a pain in the well you understand so um, but before I get into that guys I just want to apologize uh, you haven't seen me for about two weeks if not a little more uh, I had a malfunction with all my gear um, so now I have went and uh, had to purchase uh, a vlogging camera um, this is my first run with it hopefully it's working well um, yeah it, I, I had a beautiful stuff all ready to go. I lost data. Um, don't matter. Um, I had some sweet stuff lined up and it all crashed on me. Um, anyway, so just to redeem myself, I'm back <laughs> um, with new equipment and we're going to get into some wiring. Uh, so you guys, when you're ready to do any soldering, obviously you're going to need a uh, wire, which you can get at your your local hobby you can just buy what you're looking for or you can make it today we're going to be making a, a splitter um, so you obviously need you're going to need solder right this is a 44 gauge it's it's a little light uh, wire solder um, you're going to need some flux um, you'll see all that um, i made this little um, soldering tray um, you'll see how it works for me most people with two hands you don't need to make this kind of stuff I, this is just how it is easier for me um, wire strippers yeah, you'll need those um, now I have uh, heat shrink tubing um, which is great to have when you're doing wiring but if you don't have that uh, yeah just black tape I mean, I've been doing this for years, black tape, black tape, black tape. Um, but I, I feel the splurge, and I, I wanted to get, you know, Amazon cheap. It was like 12 bucks. A, it it multi-sizes, it works great. Okay, so we'll get into this. I'm going to drop the camera down for you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, and you want something to obviously uh, shrink your tube. You can use a, a lighter, uh, a heat gun. I just use this little little torch at seconds and it's done. Um, okay, well, uh, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, first we got to open the packages, guys. Uh, obviously, um, like I said, I'm trying to build a Y, so I purchased this at uh, the local hobby in Calgary. Um, PM Hobby, great guys down there. Uh, great service. You know, good prices. That kind of stuff. Right, so that's one. That's two now. You know, you can make your harnesses as long as you want. Um, I do not. These are really long. Um, this is probably more for airplane use. Um, that's why the details are so long. That's what I believe anyway, because the other will run, run the wire through the whole uh, the whole plane. So I all cut these down, obviously. So you'll need a pair of side cutters. Then we're going to stick this down. I'm going to drop you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully this still works. Uh, as you guys can see, as you can see, this is my soldering gun. Uh, I've put it up on a um, on a drill box to get the height off when you have two hands you can you know you can hold this with one hand and and hold your wiring in the other you know when you only have obviously the one hand that makes things a little difficult so this way I'll build it on here I've got little elastics you can see that hold them down and that elastic for the other side um, once I get it lined up I just come up underneath and I'll just touch that um, it, it works great for me um, so anyway yeah so let's uh Let's cut this stuff down, shall we? So you figure out whatever length you want. 
um, you can always cut long and then go back you know you want to cut about the same on both um, you'll refine that once you know once it uh, we get it laid out and stretched out okay I'm gonna try to hold it with these the thing about this is I gotta watch that hand or to let go yep it's wanting to let go um, that's just the way my hand works it's irritating but that's how it works okay there we go so got my two pieces cut here now this is going to be my lead end here so I want to cut that one also and like I said we'll cut it long we can always recut later okay get rid of this everybody's got a scrap box I got a scrap box for all my extra wires and stuff okay now you just open these up they're hard I have to use my teeth um, but you have yet another hand you just pinch and just pull the white or whatever color you're starting with and just like that see just put the wires apart um, Hopefully I can get this one quick and easy. I'm not sure. Um, you know, this one this video is about. Uh, I got. Sorry, hold on, guys. Uh, I got my subscribers asking me to show videos of how difficult it is for me to do stuff. Uh, now I will be pausing this video. There you guys see. She's done. Three it takes me a bit. You guys do it faster. Uh, I will be pausing this video probably a few times um, because if, if I kept it running the whole time um, between getting set up, I we would this video would be way too long. Um, so again, I'm going to peel that apart. If you had an exacto knife, you can just just snip the middle part with exacto and then pull it. But um, yeah, I just use my teeth because it's easier for me. There's one side again. When you have three to hold on to, to hold on to, and bite the one is easy. It's this one that gives me the trouble. And there. Split them again. There you go. Okay, so this is where I'm probably going to pause you guys for a minute. I'm going to pull these out because I want to strip these really long. And you'll see why. So just give me a second here. I'm trying to, you can see I'm trying to split the wires more more length. Uh, come on. Yeah, see I like to leave quite a bit. That's like an inch and a half um, on the wires. It will get more precise with the length um, when we're going to tie it together. Um, and then you got to do the same with this little guy here. These wires on these ones are a little bit skinnier. They're a little harder to do. Uh, but, the, you know, it works. The gauges, you know, it meets up. Uh, and there we go. Again, okay. Just give me a second. We'll peel these open pretty good. I hope you guys can hear me good, guys. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm scared to check. I just hope this video works out because I did this yesterday and, um, like, I built this little splitter yesterday and uh, I had it on video and this is the first time I used the camera and I it, the videos failed. So I've, I've done a couple today, just test videos, and it seems to work. So... Hopefully I don't lose it. Uh, if I do, I'll be a little upset. So hopefully this work is working for us. Um, okay. Now. Uh, flicky, flicky. Okay, so bear with me, guys. This is... This is really awkward for me to do. Uh, 
Give me a second. A little more than that. Yeah, I want to take off quite a bit. You'll see why when I'm done. There you go. You want to strip off a good inch. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But and then obviously you do the same on the other one. Uh, like I said, I have to focus on my right hand and have that pinch mark there. And, you know, I feel like I'm holding it incredibly tight because I the disease, right? I it literally, 